The human liver is regarded as the most imperative organ for nourishing and protecting the body against harmful substances. It is the largest organ in the body which according to health experts about the size of a football. Blood that flows from the stomach and the intestines passes through the liver. The liver then processes this blood and breakdown into it its simplest in the form of nutrients to be easily used by the rest of the body. The liver's main functions in the body are filtration, storage of vitamins and minerals, protein synthesis and also helps in metabolism and detoxification which makes the liver so beneficial when it comes to our bodybuilding. However, due to some negative lifestyle behaviors and infections, the liver tends to work not effective as it has to be or leads to the impairment of the functions of the liver. Hello viewers, welcome to Good Health where we educate and create awareness on good nutritional intakes, healthy tips, fitness and all health related to improve your health life and keep you moving all the time. In this video the question is, why does liver cirrhosis account for a substantial number of deaths as part of the total death records every year worldwide? Well, with this question we wish to answer, by focusing on two aspects. First, we will be looking at what cirrhosis is, in relation to the liver. Then, we will focus mainly on the causes of the liver problem that result in cirrhosis, so stay tuned to the end and do us a favor to support this channel by subscribing to the channel and remember to turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we upload new videos. So what is cirrhosis? Cirrhosis is simply a problem associated with the liver by cell degeneration, inflammation, and thickening of tissues. It is a late-stage liver challenge where scar cells replace healthy liver cells. The presence of scar cells constitutes the thickening of the liver tissues which in turn causes harm and damage to the liver. The degree of damage by these cells makes it difficult and even impossible to respond to treatment, however the level of damage can be managed and limited from further damages. Management of liver scarring or cirrhosis depends on the specific type of cause. And in some cases, due to the degree of damage, a liver transplant is required as the only possible way to get rid of scar cells that have taken over the entire liver tissues with intense damage. So now, what are some of the causes or the things we do that risk the liver being impaired and in time result in liver scarring and possibly result in death? According to health specialists, one of the main causes of risking the liver is excessive alcohol intake. Alcoholism is a world healthcare problem with huge socioeconomic and clinical consequences. The World Health Organization estimates that alcoholism accounts for 3.3 million deaths worldwide as a substantial number that amasses the total number of reported death cases globally. The consumption of excess alcohol of more than 30 grams every day risks the liver to severe health problems. The liver is one of the main organs in the body that is involved in the breakdown of alcohol chemically in the form of ethanol. The process occurs in the main cells of the liver called hepatocytes which constitute 70% of the entire cells of the liver. It contains the highest level of major ethanol oxidizing enzymes which is involved in the breakdown of alcohol. Though the function of these liver cells is so beneficial in the metabolism and removal of alcohol taken into the body, however, excessive intake of alcohol tends to change the chemical responsible for alcohol digestion in the liver and create substances that are more harmful than alcohol. Since 70% of liver cells are involved in ethanol metabolism, the liver cells sustain some injuries in the process of alcohol or ethanol breakdown which leads to further damage and progressively to liver scarring. Acetaldehyde is a toxic product that releases into the liver cells by bulk alcohol metabolism. This harmful substance enhances the formation of distinct molecules which causes damage to proteins such as enzymes and DNA which also results in a process called mutagenesis where the genetic information of individual changes. It is usually impossible to reverse such a health challenge. Between 10 to 20 percent of alcohol addicts have their livers sustained with injuries by the action of alcohol metabolism especially with those of over seven years of alcohol consumption. Experts also suggest that another cause of liver damage is chronic and viral infections. The liver being an important organ responsible for blood filtering is highly exposed to blood-borne infections. Blood that flows from various parts of the body and organs passes through the liver, making it susceptible to blood carrying viral infections. One major infection that affects the liver is hepatitis. Hepatitis simply is the inflammation of the liver, 
a situation where liver cells are being damaged by the hepatitis virus. Hepatitis or inflammation of the liver is not only caused by viruses. There are other possible causes which include autoimmune hepatitis, which is an inflammation that occurs when the immune system mistakes the liver and attacks it, according to experts, the cause of this is not yet known. Other causes are hepatitis which occurs as a side effect of drugs, medications, toxins, and alcohol. For the hepatitis virus, it is categorized into four main types that is, hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, D, and E. Now, on hepatitis A, it is a contagious liver infection caused by the hepatitis A virus. It can be contracted through body contact and the hepatitis A virus, found in contaminated food and water. It is a short-term disease that can be prevented by vaccines. Also, for hepatitis virus type B, it's a chronic infection in the liver caused by the hepatitis B virus. It spreads by contact with a hepatitis B virus in the body fluids, such as blood, vaginal secretion, or semen. Hepatitis C and D have a similar spread as type B whilst type E also has a similar spread as type A. All these infections to the liver cause injury to liver tissues, however, if management and care are not well taken and prolong over some period, the liver develops scars by further damage by hepatitis infections which becomes permanent and irreversible and possibly leads to death. Moreover, another cause of late-stage liver damage is fatty liver. Fatty liver, also known as steatosis, is a health condition caused by the buildup of more fat in the liver. This happens when 5% to 10% of liver weight is accumulated by fat. Though it has been indicated that excessive alcohol is a major cause of liver cirrhosis, but, that does not mean that it cannot happen to a non-alcoholic person. The way we live our life also matters and negative lifestyle behaviors result in liver problems. Health specialists indicate that, there is no cause of fatty liver known yet, but there are some risk factors that can cause the liver to develop a lot of fat and possibly lead to a late-stage liver challenge called cirrhosis. Obesity or overweight is one of the risk factors associated with the accumulation of liver fat over time. Obesity occurs by eating too much and moving too little. The consumption of high-energy foods like fat and sugar with less or no movement to burn them off through exercise and physical activities causes the body to store much surplus fat in the body. Again, one may develop fatty liver diseases through hyperglycemia or in other words high blood sugar level. The presence of high blood glucose in the bloodstream causes the hormone called insulin responsible for blood sugar regulation to absorb excess amounts of glucose from the blood. The excess glucose absorbed is then stored in the body cells as fat and in time causes the body to accumulate and develop a lot of fat. Another risk factor that enhances the development of fat in the body and the liver is insulin resistance. This is a situation where the body cells fail to take up sugar that is to be stored in response to insulin. The sugar is then kept in the bloodstream as fat and accumulates fat in the liver over time. Fatty liver disease in its early stage does not usually cause any harm to the extent of developing scars by the liver cells, but then a late stage or late detection can complicate the fatty liver and result in the formation of scars. Finally, high sodium diet is also another silent cause that results in liver cirrhosis. Sodium is consumed almost in all diets we take every day since salt is commonly known to comprise sodium and chloride which has about 40% of sodium ions contained in it. Interestingly, sodium is known to be so much useful to the body as it helps with the regulation of water movement within the body system of which a normal amount is needed to do so. With a sprinkle of a tablespoon of salt, salt can bring out the flavor in just about any diet, however, most of us tend to overenjoy it which results in the overconsumption of sodium found in salt. It is well known that, too much salt can lead to high blood pressure, a potentially dangerous health condition if left untreated and overconsumption of salt could harm the liver in addition to high blood pressure. The presence of too much salt in the body is highly able to impact the liver negatively as it leads to liver cell damage by an increase in cell death and a decrease in cell divisions which progressively constitute the development of liver scars. Also, a high salt diet may cause further liver complications and constitute the worsening of already existing liver problems which in all put the liver at a higher chance of liver cirrhosis. 
So can you continue risking your liver to this severe liver challenge with the overconsumption of salt if this is your first time hearing such a consequence it comes along? Well, remember that your health is the most important over anything, and that was just by the way but you can comment on that with yes or no in the comment section below and let us know your thought as well. That said, there are a number of signs and symptoms of liver diseases and challenges as a cause of liver cirrhosis that makes one more prone to an early or premature death if not early consulted with a medical specialist for early management. In our next video, we will be bringing to you the signs and symptoms of liver cirrhosis and if you are new here, make sure to stay tuned to this channel by subscribing to this channel and remember to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our upcoming videos on your education and awareness of health. Thanks for watching and as always, good health, your most wealth ever.